So we're talking about saint Omer today, a French legal drama directed by Alice Diop. Let's get to it. Sean is here. My name is Phil. We are Boys of Film. And it's one of those films that I find really difficult to talk about. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's just because I've come out of it and I feel a bit brain fried in a good way. Um, yeah, you no, might be a bit brain fried. It's quite a lot. I felt engrossed in it, but also I found it quite powerful. And I think it's one of those films that I really need to think about before. Mm. I mean, not. I'm not going to suggest thinking about it before we do the review, because obviously we're doing that now, so I don't really have much choice. <laughs> but maybe you can, you can throw some light on it more than I can. Well, I think I think it is grounded in the fact that you know it is based on a true story. It's based on the story of Fabien Cabu, who in 2013 abandoned their um, 15-month-old daughter uh, on a beach in high tide. The courtroom drama is based on that, um, so it is grounded in reality. And it is interesting because whilst it does tell the story um, as I've described it, it also talks about parallels with these two women uh, in France who are both immigrants and it talks about their life as second generation French people and the impact of that. It kind of inter intersplices into the story so you've got the core story but then you have this these interesting characters and about how they perceive France and how they are perceived in France and I, th I found whilst the story is very interesting and quite shocking in a way those parallels are really, I think, what stay with you. It follows through the eyes of Rama, who is a literature professor and a very successful novelist and writer. And she's documenting the case of um, Lawrence Coley, who is the character that's based on the, on the real life lady that I described earlier. Both of which are Senegalese women, and both of which have this narrative that they are professional, successful, educated women within the French system. But it's quite interesting about how they got there. And whilst Lawrence Coley, who is the character, talks about her experiences with her mother, Rama also takes on board some of those components about her life as a Senegalese woman in, in France. And there's also the parallels that Rama is pregnant to her husband and has not yet told her family about it. And there are elements of Lawrence Coley's story where she didn't fully reveal the, the information about her child. So there are these parallels that are running. Both And both of the women, both the similar Senegalese women, are successful, but they are kind of... I read something that said they were on the sore shoulders of their mothers, because their mothers are like domestic, blue-collar workers, and both of these ladies are highly, highly successful. Um, so I think there's some real parallels that you see in the story, which kind of underpins the narrative around, around Lawrence's story and, and the death of their daughter. And I think it's those parallels that make the story so intriguing and the film so compelling as well, because um, we were just talking about this before um, we started, and I said that courtroom dramas aren't for everybody. I think... I think you need to like that kind of film, but I think this film does deliver more, though, than what you usually see, because I think a lot of people would maybe switch off with a courtroom drama, because I think, you one, you need to concentrate, but also you need to feel engaged with the people that are in the drama. And I felt completely engaged with their performances. I thought they totally delivered, the actors in this. And in a way, it felt like I was a fly on the wall, because it did feel like I was watching something rolling out in reality, in real life, is that your cat, the cat <laughs> or is that got, something else? <laughs> the cat has just got the zoomies, as they are called. If you're a cat person, she has the zoomies, cat people. So she's suddenly just got very fast and is running around the apartment. I'm a dog daddy as well, and my dog does that too. Goes nuts, the especially zoomies. after eating. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the other interesting thing is which I which people. I think what comes through in the story is because Lawrence is this highly erudite, articulate French woman, you know, and has a grasp of French, or the French is the second language, and she's educated. The fact that some of the reasons and rationale about why she murdered her daughter seem quite removed, because I think people, because she mentions that she did it through because of sorcery. And I think people are even more taken aback because she's this super educated woman. So it's not saying that it wasn't sorcery or not, but the actual idea of it, I think, also is more shocking because she is, you know, this super, you know, she's intelligent, she's erudite, she's articulate, 
but she believes something else. And I think that also adds a flavour to this story, yeah, around how she's perceived and how this plays out. So it, it, it's, you're right, it's a courtroom drama. And I was quite drawn to it because there is a lot of kind of very thick scenes that almost feel theatrical in a way. But not stagey. I don't think quite it felt stagey. stagey. but not, yeah. not exactly it actually created drama and tension in the right places. I think that's down to a lot of the close-ups as well, because the close-ups were really dramatic, but not in a a kind of hammy way. I think they were dramatic, but there was a lot of pauses, and obviously that just proves how good these actors were as well, because you don't necessarily... uh, I would imagine the filmmaker wasn't wanting to fill up those empty spaces because there's a lot of empty spaces but i think they're there for a purpose and i think it's what Mm. makes the film more engaging because you feel like it's real not like tightly edited deliberately just to just get rid of the space no and i think as i say on paper people might be like i'm not sure whether i need to see a french courtroom drama about two senegalese women i would say do it because actually it's it kept me it kept me entertained and it kept me fixed to the screen in a way that other films haven't. And so it drew me in. And I think there is the strength of the acting and the cinematography and the framing that um, I thought were pretty, pretty outstanding, really. And also the story itself, it does make you question how you look at other people as well, especially if they're people that are sentenced for a crime. You kind of see, not that you see the other the other side of the of that, but I think it, it, you know it's human nature, isn't it, to just judge people that for something that they've done wrong or they've been sent to prison for, and it's that kind of understanding of why they did what they did. It's that it's that curiosity, I think, which I think is w- what makes it compelling because you yeah. kind of feel you feel like you understand both sides. Yeah, you're right, and it's not framed through a lens of judgment. So it's not framed around, oh, this happened, this woman must be evil or bad. Actually, I think it's played very well. And I think the lady that plays the judge, some of her summaries and so that is are just really quite brilliant. So yeah. for me, I, I took quite a lot away from this film, even though on paper you probably go, oh, I'm not really sure whether it's my vibe. I think it is quite compelling. Also really haunting as well. I mentioned that earlier. I don't know whether that's down to... Well, I think it probably is a mixture of things. I don't think it's just the music, but the music they used was really well suited, I thought. Because it kind of gave that really hypnotic feel. And I think like I mentioned earlier, you know, right at the beginning, saying I I don't know how I can explain what I've just seen because I feel... I do feel not numb, but I feel like hypnotised. I I think that's how I felt when I... When the credits rolled. I just kind of came out in a bit in a bit of a numb state which i think is is all to you know the credit of of the people that have done this because i think it's a powerful piece of cinema definitely yeah and i get that i mean there's many films like my my husband goes what do you think and i'm like i'll tell you in the morning because like you know like i'm a bit like i'm just processing so much stuff i mean i had a bit of that when i watched after sun where i was like there's a lot going on or maybe there's nothing going on yeah (laughs) That was such an incredible movie. One of my favourite... I think it was actually my favourite movie of last year. Or was it this year? But do you <laughs> know what I mean? So it's, like, it is similarity because there's nuance... After Sun is just 100% wow. nuance, right? Incredible, it's all yeah. about what you don't see. It's all about what you... How you frame something differently. It's all about... So there's elements of that in this film. There's a lot of nuance in this film. There's a yeah. lot of... You know, the character development really is around two people in the whole film. So you get a lot. It's rich from that perspective. You can see it in cinemas now, I believe. I think it came out on the 3rd of February. So go and see it. Um, First, though, let's do the verdicts. Star rating, Sean. I'm giving it a three. I thought you were going to go higher than that. No. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. But you know that I'm a hard marker. Yeah. three Three is good for me. So... What what are the downsides? What what are the two stars missing for? After all I've said, it is still a courtroom drama. So, you know, I'm like, I really, really enjoyed it. I could have absolutely hated it because it is almost set in, you know, the way it's framed, the way it's staged. So I really enjoyed it, but I'm not sure. It's not my usual bag. I don't really go. These are not the films I would normally watch, like a courtroom drama. I'm the same. I, I, I wouldn't say that courtroom dramas are my favourite 
type of movie or, or even TV stuff. I felt interested in the characters and I felt interested in the story, which made me like it more or made me like this courtroom drama more. Um, but yeah, for me, it's a four stars just because I thought it was powerful. And yeah, I thought it was a story well told. Let's know if you're going to see it. Leave a comment down below. Thank you, Sean, as always. And thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you on the next review.